What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yes, we went through the Pokeball, or the the Poke Cup Pokeball uh, matchup, and now we're going to be going into battle number five. We're going to be continuing that whole spiel right there. And if you guys don't remember, in our last episode two, we managed to get four perfects in a row. Again, do not get too cocky when it, ha when it happens like this, because... Somewhere down the line, yeah, somewhere down the line, the AI is not going to like you, and it's going to throw a big old middle finger at you, so just be aware of all that stuff right there. So, here we go, going into the second half of this thing, and I do have a Pokemon with uh, Psychic Attack right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and use good old Psychic Attack right here. Now, I know that it has Thunder Punch, and that was a critical hit, but I'm, I'm going to be conservative in all this stuff right here. Now, another thing that I've been, uh, I've been meaning to talk about going into Pokemon Stadium is this game absolutely challenges you as a trainer and everything else. So, off screen, when it comes to, you know, the Pokemon games that I've been playing... Pokemon Red and Blue I have been playing off screen just to update with some different Pokemon that I may want to trade or incorporate right here. And oh my god, we are getting confused right here. Yeah. Let's see. You know what? Let's go right ahead and go for a Thunder Punch. Let's just let's risk it. So like I was saying, guys, yes, um and oh crap baskets, we get hurt. That right there is is painful. So yeah, like I was saying, guys, um, oh crap, this is bad. Alright, we gotta hit it one last time, that way we don't get affected by these things, holy crud. So yeah, um, oh come on! So it's stuff like that, stuff like that really frustrates me and we get poisoned, so this is, this is very, very bad, because it's triple hitting us. And we need we need a save right here. Okay, come on, thunder punch, thunder punch, come on, hit it. And we there we go. Okay, so that right there will prevent any kind of poisoning from happening right there. But the next the next move is going to really hurt us if we don't if we don't beat this next Pokemon. And this one is a Volpix. So, we are going to be switching out our Pokemon. Let's see. Yes, thankfully we chose Gyarados. So, yeah. Again, before I get sidetracked. Um, so, if you guys have been watching my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, Fire Red walkthrough, you guys already noticed, or I probably already said that, you know, off screen I have been uh, playing the other games, the other versions, Pokemon Sapphire, Ruby, uh, Leaf Green, getting them back up to date because of the lost data that the lost data that I had in my my old computer, just so I can trade these Pokemon, and I I'm I'd be kind of alluding to the fact that I could probably I am probably going to be playing the Battle Frontier in Pokemon Emerald. That is. A big maybe, because, well, yeah, it is so frustrating. It's just like Pokemon Stadium right here. And right now, this guy is, like, messing with us. It's living up to the whole Soul Badge thing, and we are no longer confused. So, yeah, I've been playing other versions off screen to make sure we're up to date and we can trade Pokemon from left and right and all that stuff. And, well, look at that. Vulpix has been defeated. And another reason why we're playing these games off screen, such as Red and Blue, is so we can actually have an unlimited amount of Pokemon at our disposal and stuff. And look at that, we got our fifth extra continue. Okay, so that's five badges. Let's go ahead and continue to Marsh Badge right here. And, well, let's see what happens at this one. <laughs> okay, so it looks like he... It looks like he's not giving a, a hoot about who he is right now, so we're gonna be going with these with these three Pokemon. Okay, and then yes, there are other levels in this game alone that that require strategy. So that's another reason why I have been, um, I have been uh, what was it called, uh, playing the other games off screen because it's fast. I can get it done. I can pick and choose what Pokemon I want to use. I don't really have to trade very much anymore because, well, you know, I can 
I can, uh, you know, I can put them in whatever version I want to. And, well, yeah. I don't really, I don't necessarily have to have a main cast, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And, yeah, this guy does not care. Holy crud. I thought this would be a little bit, I thought this would be a little bit harder, but okay. So, here we go. Bone Q versus Gyarados. And, there it is. Water always beats this guy yeah this is this is yeah this is a little too easy for me the number of reserve Pokemon here we go rat -ta 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 -ta. and it sounds very mean right now okay so here we go surf attack yes it has been one-sided right here so here we go surf attack for the win and just like that, Rattata has been defeated. So we get six perfects right here. Meaning, if we lose in the next match, we can always continue. And we have five more turns until we win. Wow, that was a little too easy right there. Yeah, we're, we're, we're bumming through everybody right here. So it was around right here in the Volcano Badge where I got, I got a little too cocky. And then I got my butt kicked five, five separate times over in the Pika Cup. So, here we are taking on a Psychic, and this guy does have a mixture of Pokemon, so... Let's see, the main... Yeah, the main, uh... The main weakness is Electric-type. So... Let's see... Yeah, we're gonna always go with this guy right here. What was another thing that I wanted to do? So yeah, in uh, Red and Blue 2... I am going, like, I've been capturing, I've been capturing Pokemon, um, I've been capturing multiple Pokemon, like, you know, their evolve form and then evolve another one, that way I can actually start using them for this one right here, and especially with my, especially with my, my original Pokemon right here, starter Pokemon are a little bit different, and well, let's see, Executenza. Eventually, I'm gonna move him over. Like, I'm gonna move my starter Pokemon over to. Yeah, I'm gonna eventually move my uh, starter Pokemon to the second gen so I can breed them and all that stuff. And what am I trying to do here? Okay, so we. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna actually we're actually gonna have to hit this guy with a Thunder Wave just in case. But let's go with a Mega Punch first. Alrighty, here we go, Mega Punch. What now? And that is a critical hit. Okay. And here comes the Leech Seed. So that really won't do us any damage right there. So there we go. Executenza. Trying to leech some life out of us. And hopefully this next move will not mace. I think Executor, ex ex executor or exec Execute are... Damn it. Okay. I think they are Psychic-type Pokemon. So yeah. Oh my god. It's using its strategy now. And it failed. Okay, so. Come on, Mega Punch. Come on! Come on! I'm using come on a lot. And here we go. That, oh, that nearly defeats it. And it's thanks. It's all thanks to its uh its leech seed right here. So here comes a sleep powder. This more more than likely will hit us. And yes, it does. Okay, so with that being said. With that being said, let's go straight to Gyarados right here, mainly because the rules state that we can't have two Frozen or a Sleep Pokemon, so that right there leaves us with one, and or be better yet, more than more than one. So here comes an Egg Bomb, and not so effective right there. We are still flying type Pokemon, and yes, we do have a fly a Fire Attack. So let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with the Fire Blast attack. Let's go! And just like that, Exe Execute has been defeated. See, these nicknames are kind of getting me, like, they're kind of, uh, getting me off, or they're not getting me off, I should say, wow. It, it, they're throwing me off, and here comes a Slowpoke. It just looks monotone and everything. And god dang. Yeah, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. 
Screw it. Let's go with Electabuzz. It'll, it will eventually wake up. It won't be getting zapped anymore since, you know, we moved him away. Alrighty. Here we go. Electabuzz. How's it going? And here comes a Psychic Attack. So we're going to get hit a few times. Thankfully, Electabuzz has some pretty good defense. And... Come on. Wake up, and wake up Electabuzz. Wake up. Nope. Still asleep. And no, I don't have a speed button on this thing right here, so... There it is. It's special has fallen, so that means that... If we don't hit this Pokemon right now, more than likely it will it will beat it. It will beat our Electabuzz, so there it is. It's going to beat our Electabuzz. And here we go, Surf Attack. And... Oh, we still got a chance right here. Okay, come on, Electabuzz. Wake the freaking up. Come on! And, yeah, like, I'm, I'm talking like if it's... Okay, it wakes up, but it's not going to attack. And here comes a Psychic. Okay, so we kind of messed this up on ourselves. Okay. That's on us. All right, I like the buzz. Okay, so let's go with... Let's go with Alakazam right here. And here we go. Alakazam, how's it going? What you doing? Homeboy, let's go straight for a side beam attack. So, hopefully this will actually do something right here. So here we go, side beam attack. Not so effective, but it actually it actually does something right here. And here goes a psychic attack. Our spell, our, our special has fallen. Let's go again, side beam attack. Yeah, I know. We're not being strategic, guys. We are not being strategic, and that was a critical hit. Throwing out that peace sign. What now? Okay, so there it is, guys. We got ourselves another victory right there. Not a perfect victory. Always have water next to you, guys. And there you go. So there we go. We have defeated the Psychic. That leaves us with one more badge right here, the Earth Badge. So let's go right ahead and continue... We have six continue, so this means a total of like maybe six or seven times. And yes, of course, this guy is going to have some weird Pokemon with it. Let's see. I know for a fact that Porygon is going to have a Psychic type attack. It, it's one of the most messed up things, so we got to stay away from Psychic type Pokemon. Uh, Magnemite, of course. All right. Let's see. Let's go with this this combination right here. Again, if we lose, we still got quite a few more turns. But the last person is always supposed to be the one that just gives you a gives you kind of a messed up situation. And as you guys can see, we're going up against a Dratini. It is a Dragon type Pokemon. There is only one type of Pokemon that can defeat it right here in Gen One, and that is an Ice type Pokemon. Now I know some of you newbies are saying that, well, you got you got Dragon type Pokemon. Well, here's the thing. The only Dragon type attack right now in Gen 1 right here is Dragon Rage, which doesn't do much. It automatically takes 40 points, so it really... What what can it do? So, as you guys can see, this Dra this Dratini right here was obviously going to paralyze me and hit me with a Hyper Beam attack. And, well, thankfully it needs a turn to recharge, so right here we will be able to hit Dratini. And finish this guy off right here. So there we go. That's one down. And we're going to be going for two more to go right here. So please don't let it be Porygon. Because Porygon is a... Oh, yeah. I was right. Porygon is a messed up Pokemon to take on. Mainly because it can convert itself to different typings. And... Well, let's go right ahead and see what a Psybeam does to this guy. So here comes Tribeam. And, or try attack, and that actually hits us. Okay, Alakazam, I see what, what's going on right here. Losing like that, okay. Alright, let's go with Electabuzz, since it does have a little bit more physical attack right here. Alright, Electabuzz, do me the favor, let's win this. And... Go with a Thunder Punch right here. Hopefully it paralyzes it or something like that. And here we go. Spin around. Hit it. Bam. Hits it hard. And there he goes. Porygon. 
And what can you do? Oh, psychic attack. What that? And what psychic that? attack barely works right here. What a furious, a furious battle right here. So here we go, thunder punch. Again, yes, I know I'm chomping. I'm chomping. And here we go. And oh my god, nearly gets defeated right there. So here comes one more psychic attack. And thankfully, like the buzz does have some special defense. And oh, that nearly knocks us down. The fireworks are flying. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. So it must have a... Yeah, okay. I see what you're doing. So a Thunder Punch right here won't have too much of an effect against Magnemite. Okay, so it caught me off guard right here. Let's go with a Psychic. Hopefully this will actually take out Magnemite. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Because I, I do have a feeling Magnemite is going to try and paralyze us, and that won't work. And let's see, yes, I knew Thunder Wave was going to happen, but it doesn't... It won't affect it. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, my God. This game has no logic whatsoever. So let's go with one more Psychic Attack right here. Because I know for a fact, if we lose Electabuzz right here... Fudge! Yeah, okay, so that right there puts us in a very difficult spot because our last Pokemon is Gyarados. Okay, so like I said, guys, don't be, don't be too cocky. Okay, so... One Pokemon each. Let's go with a Fire Blast. Let's gamble this right here because Thunderbolt can beat us right here. And that right there defeats Magnemite. And I do get the logic that it's still not a Steel type right now. And just like that, we got one more Pokemon each. It looks like we're going to win this one right here, hopefully. And this Porygon right here is just looking at me all funny and stuff. He's like, I know something you don't know. Well, guess what? I'm going to go with the for sure thing. Let's go with the Dragon Rage. Automatic 40 points right here. And just like that, 40 points away. Say goodbye to Porygon. Okay. All righty. Yeah, like, like he said, champion has been crowned. Look at that. It went down to the wire right there, and Old Man is going to give us our last badge right here. That sounds good. Okay! So, after defeating all, f all eight quote-unquote gym badges, you get yourself the Pokeball, or the Pokecup Pokeball right here. Okay. Feels good. It feels great. It feels awesome. So, anywho, guys, this has been our first go around of this whole uh, Poke Cup right here. Obviously, we do not get anything in return. Um, what will happen is you will be in the Hall of Fame right here, I think, for the Pokemon that you use. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Let's see. No, you're not in the Hall of Fame, but you do have the Pokeball Cup. And that will be right here, as you guys can see. We already got one, so now we're going to be going into the Great Ball, which will be saved for next time. So like I was saying early on, guys, every single one of these cups has its difficulties and all that stuff. And what is going to happen, or what has been happening is that, you know, I am going, like I am training up, or no, I'm not training up. I am playing Pokemon Red and Blue off screen, bringing all these Pokemon together that way I can use different varieties of Pokemon going into these uh, different cups because the original plan was to go into the Pika cup and that cup got me messed up because wow we do not have the Pokemon needed for this and like I said before fully evolved Pokemon don't necessarily get the best moves so that's what's gonna happen in the next episode we're gonna go away from the Pokeball cup and we're probably gonna do one of these three depending on what we got but more than likely, it might be like one of these. Yeah, it's going to be one of these three right here. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, click right there on the heart button. I'll be back for another episode or a, week, a weekend episode of Pokemon Stadium. See you guys.